Hi everybody. Today I'm here with my new arrival is the Osco Power Max 6000. And this is a beast. This can do pretty much everything. As you saw when I'm rolling it in, uh, it has the wheels so you can carry it, but it's heavy because it can do so many things and it's very powerful. Now you can use it for camping, or you can use it for when there are emergencies, or hurricanes, tornadoes, things like that, um, just as an alternative energy power. But this is great. So you can turn it on right here. And as you can see, it gives you a display. Right now it's showing that it's 59% charge. Now this means that if I leave it like this, without draining any electricity if i don't plug it, anything in it will it'll hold on for another 59 days uh, and again that's only a 58 percent so if it was a hundred percent charge probably 120 days 150 days somewhere around there but um and this is also controlled and you can see all of that on the phone i'll show you in a few minutes but you have also a light right there just in case if you need that you can make it brighter and then you can turn it off now it has four ac connectors three regular ones for refrigerator which i'm going to show you in a minute uh, any appliances anything you want vacuum cleaner whatever it is that you need uh, laptop anything like that but then it also has a 240 240 for a dryer or anything else that might need a 240 plug right here. So you can do a 120 or you can do a 140 here. So you technically have either four um, 120s or three 120 and one 240. So you have uh, one for charging your car. It comes from here or any device that you have, you know, any devices that is uh, one of those cigarette lighter uh, connectors, you can plug it right here adapters for your uh, like if you have an rv anything like that and right here these are adapters for any of your appliance any of your devices that have this circular uh, plugins um, again some laptops some tablets you can just plug them right here and they can work directly from there so and you also have two usb-c plugs and you have four USB-A plugs. One of them is a high charge capacity. The other ones are 12, volt, 12 uh, watts and the other one is uh, 54. So again, you would just turn it in. You turn it on like that when you're using this part and you can turn it off. And then you can also, you will turn this one on and it will work this way if you want to save energy same as here you turn this one on and it's only working this section you can have all three of them connected at one time so i'm going to be pl uh, plugging in my refrigerator here in a minute and so i'll show you that that's great because you can plug in your ac your refrigerator and uh it has a 5000 watt peak protection so if anything were to happen again at 5,000 watt peak, it will shut down and protect everything that is connected, including the generator itself. Now, something that is great about this one, right here, you have plugs to lazy chain other uh, generators. So for example, for whatever reason, you need more power, you can connect this one to another similar to this or the same one and three, four, five of them, you have enough power to generate for whatever it is you need this many for right here. This is where you would charge the generator. Now, you can charge the generator from the power source, your regular house, and just keep it charged. You can charge it from the car, and you can charge it from a solar panels. It does have solar panels. I don't have any of them with me, but you would have the solar panels. They connect right here, and that's another form of charging this generator. Right now, I'm going to show you my refrigerator is off. I have the plug right here. I'm going to turn this right on. I'll show you. I'll turn this section on. 
Now I'm going to plug the refrigerator. And there we go. We have power on the refrigerator. Now, it gives you a reading of how many watts is being used. Same thing when you're plugging it in to charge it, it will give you a reading of how much input is getting into it. Um, and all of this you can see on your phone as well. So right now it's telling you that with just this energy being drained out of the generator for the refrigerator, this will last 14 hours right now. And um, again, this was only charged at uh, 58%. So I see you vary from 15 to 14 because it's getting changed, but you can uh, uh, connect it to the AC, which I'm not going to do is too much work right now, but just for this video, you know, you can connect it with that. And it comes with all the cables, cable to uh, connect it to the wall, cable to connect it to any device, including uh, the solar panels or an RV or anything like that. And the connector for, a car or anything else that needs a cigarette lighter uh, connector. And it comes with all of that. It comes with a manual and a little bag to put all your cables here. And as you can see again, the refrigerator is on and the generator is still drawing about 87 watts or so and still about 15 hours left to use. So I have reviewed several different generators in different sizes. This is the biggest one that I've done. And again, what I'm really impressed is that it can do uh, 240 as well as 120. And it can be charged not only from the house, from the car, but solar panels as well. Um, this is great for when you are in, for example, Florida or any other states that have natural disasters like hurricanes, tornadoes, anything like that. You keep it charged. Even if you uh, run out of battery, you can, you can charge it from the car or from the solar panels. Again, if we lose power and we use it all here, we can have those solar panels to keep it charging. Um, so at least it will give us some electricity. Also, I will show you how this shows on my phone and how you can read basically the same thing that is here, how much power is going in how much power is going out, what's the time left, and anything else that like that. Um, so I hope that you guys find this as useful, as life-saving as I do. Um, you never know when you're going to need something like this. Again, I live in Florida. We have hurricanes every summer. And so this is a great tool to have uh, for not only keeping yourself cool with the AC, but the food from spoiling. And so I hope you enjoy them just as much as I do.